anyways, it is it's time to die and wish. It sounds crunchy. I like it. Ooh. I have to make sure the, the tracks are in order. We're good. Oh! 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 It's silly Goofy. Is this, is this hardcore or deathcore? Well, it feels like it's really riding the fence. Metalcore, just neither. Okay. It, it's giving Venom Prison for me. What I, talk, what I was talking about, the ambience with the breakdown. You can't just have the breakdown on its own. You need something. She said the line! That's a fire start. Also, those feet, really detailed. That was pretty fire. I like that a lot. Because I'm, I'm actually going... I didn't mention this. I'm going into this blind. Watch my promise die. There are elements in this band so far, people would really like Venom Prison if they like this, in my opinion. Based on one, one and a half songs. She said the line again. Oh, yeah, that's me that's certainly metalcore. Okay, I'm definitely hearing it now. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
So it's like a very 2000s metalcore sound. Oh. Maybe white people aren't so bad after all. I can say that I'm white. Ooh. Are they bringing back the chorus? Props to them for making linear metalcore. Okay, cool. Yeah, the metalcore is like so much more dominant now. The title track we called Deathcore. I don't know what's Blood Runs Black. I don't- I'm not a metalcore guy, what- Don't blame me. Like those dissonant notes. Oh, that was a quick one. Wait for me. The YouTube ads keep trying to slip through and it's making me nervous. There's some death metal riffs in here. I think that's what's throwing me off from like saying metalcore for these guys. God damn. Ooh. Shut it, let's 
See, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. Her voice is kind of similar to Larissa Stupar's of oh, Venom Prison. And it's that those, some of those death metal riffs, I feel like there's some overlap there. More melody in Venom Prison, though. Ending on a little slam. <laughs> How exhilarating. So far, a lot of diversity, too, song to song. But diversity in, like, there's differences in the ratios of, like, uh, what's more metalcore, more deathcore, what's more hardcore. Those change song to song, but the influences stay the same. I was gonna say a little thrashy, but I don't know. I, I'm not confident on that. Oh. That I take. That's more like Breaking Benjamin, right? Three Days Grace? I don't know. I'm not too familiar with metalcore. The clan used to do that to black people. It's a shame. It's a shame. I like to educate people on this channel. Hey, 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 I don't know. It's a similar, similar type of vibe. <laughs> Guys, I think, I think the clan was, they might have been in the wrong for doing that. <laughs> Hot take, but... <laughs> It was just a clean section. I don't even know who that is. Paved in the sorrow. Mmm, crayons. I think the Marines eat those.
This is the soft song. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, brother. This is a nice break from all the da 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 ins you know, all the chugs. Very nice. Lots of diversity. We get a breather here. The zoin. I, I don't know why that's funny to me. It's a, Like emotionally flat or like the energy of the song is flat because I can agree with the energy of the song. I wonder if that's going to age restrict my reaction. Uh, whoever assessed that this was flat, I do think emotionally it stayed pretty consistent. Uh, definitely instrumental, even though there's variations with like screams and cleans and um, there's contrast there. But I think a lot of the contrast is brought from the rest of the album. Because now we're doing this. I think every album needs like a few songs that just kind of break the norm. I'm a little sick of this type of breakdown right now, but we can groove with it. A little black metal. A little black metal. I'll say I said it.
Like, it's groovy, but I, I am getting a little sick of these breakdowns. Kith of Judith. Wait. Damn, this album was like uh, four more songs? That's crazy. Well, there's also like, they're using the metalcore corp or, or like note progressions. Like, it's very, the, the kill switch energy is like, it's a little stale. I never got into kill switch. If they used a different scale for like the, the sort of metalcore leads, I think it'd bring a lot of diversity. Ooh, I like the timing of that. I'm sorry. Oops. Oops. If it's another breakdown that goes da 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 da, I'm gonna kill myself. No, I'm not. That's a, that's an overreaction. Please don't. It's a little better. That was an over. God damn. I have to. I have to stop making that joke. I gotta stop making that joke. That's bad. Uh, yeah. It's fucking. Oh god. That's a bad joke. I got into hanging out with my friends mode. God damn it. Alright, when's the band coming? Yeah, these breakdowns are all too similar. Groovy, of course. I would like to reiterate, that was a joke. It came out so like, <laughs> like I wasn't even thinking about that. Uh. Come on, come on. Ah, I need a different breakdown. So I did it, did it, did it. Oopsie. Now that's different.
Wager. Hard R is crazy. Oop. Almost got the ad. Now that thing is actually supposed to stay on the inside. Fun fact. <laughs> Dandruff. I was at a show once, and I, uh, it was a black metal show. Uh, it was Mayhem, actually. And I started choking on this kid's dandruff who was in front of me. He was headbanging, and all his dandruff was coming off his hair. Terrible. Oh, that's a little different. Still the symbols going on in the back. For you. Oh yeah, she's good. I, I just feel like the instrumentals need more diversity. That's fun. We go. That's different. Yay. It's like a modern medical breakdown, in my opinion, just because uh, there's. Um, I don't know if that was like a like a Digitech, like pitch shifting, or if there's something else, but it had a very modern medical feel. Heard this breakdown so many times. If you this is bringing a little more to it. Yeah, a lot of the filler they use is like, it's the same from song to song. But the in-between, between like the breakdowns and the metalcore sections, like th this is different. Like the death metal uh, influences they bring, very nice. If, uh, I'm just fr I'm frustrated with this. Yeah, I feel like yeah, there's a lot of opportunity for for much more diversity song to song, uh, in, in in terms of like, not so much the structure of the songs. I feel like the structure is pretty good. It's just uh, the, 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 the like the scales they're using, and then some of the the motifs they're using, 
they're outdated and then to use an outdated motif in every single song it's a lot yeah exactly it's already been done so put a twist on it somehow Something like that. Yeah, Cow a Bummer. It's not it's not a bad album. I I, I wanna get that. I wanna get that said. Like, it's pretty good, and they do a lot of really cool things. But just my biggest issue is that they have a lot of um, diversity in some of their riffs, but then it always uh, winds up going back to, uh, you know, a lot of tropes and motifs that have already been done, which is a cow a bummer. Uh, especially, I, like, here, here are my thoughts, you know, especially with, like, um, you know, the metalcore influences, the that sort of corporate is like no 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 you know the kill switch I, I didn't do that justice. The kill switch engaged, the as I lay dying sound. It's been it's been done. It's like a, it's just like a motif that's across so many metalcore bands. I'm sick of it. You're sick of it. We all scream for sick of it. Uh, it's just I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> I was over it from the beginning. I never really got into that sound. I remember first hearing Kill Switch Engage, I was like, I hate this. I still I still cannot get into Kill Switch Engage, but it's just a it's a motif that's like do you really need it across every single song, especially because like you if if you're doing like different scales different um, riffs different rhythms, uh, you you could take some of the motifs you have from the, your more diverse sections and sort of maintain them in in, in in like those scales and like apply them to like the leads you're doing for uh, uh, whatever song you have and that gives that song a little more character it it fits into the song a little better. Versus, it's always looping back to this like sense of nostalgia that I feel like is it's just not necessary. And then all the breakdowns, there's so much room. Like like clearly they're capable musicians. Like especially with like the way they approach ambience and some of um, uh, th those other riffs, especially like the death metal riffs. You know, there's some a little bit of slams. We got, we got hints of slams at times. Uh, but then it all just circles back to the same breakdown, which is very disappointing because like uh, throughout this album, they're showing us that they're capable of more. But then always grounding it into this like older sound, and I don't think that's like necessary to go fully into that older sound because you could have a lot of like the the, the similar like um, structuring uh, that 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 old school metalcore has, but just maybe approach it with a different like note progression, something like that, something to spice up, make it make it your own. Because uh, right now, listening to some of those sections that uh, uh, call upon the older era of metalcore, that just makes me think of other bands. It's not, it doesn't feel like oh. This is a sound I've only heard here. This sound is the dying wish sound. I'm like, this is the kill switch engage. This is the one of you guys said as as blood runs black, something like that. It's the August burns red. It's the it, it's it's just the metalcore sound, right? There's nothing that's like saying this is ours. And I I would like to see that. I'd like to see that. Like clearly they they, they have like, well, I mean you know. The other thing I talk about the thing is I'm out here like being all grumpy, but you know this is their career and they're doing fucking well. Like. This album was met with like a, a, a very positive reception, so you know what the fuck do I know, right? But in my in my opinion, I, I just think it's more engaging, more interesting. There's a lot more like salience to just diversity to experimentation. Uh, honestly, not even to experimentation, just like diversity and experimentation. Personally, in my experience, not too difficult. You just just blend new things. If you're like, you know, we all listen to music where uh, there, there's sounds we've heard before, and then there's sounds we'd like to hear. No one's done them before. Make those sounds. That's been my approach to music, but I'm not the fucking career musician. So what? Again, what the fuck do I know? What do I know? 
Uh, but I do feel like they they went a little too hard on the nostalgia factor. 